Here we are at Google Maps. You can Google it if you're not sure how to get there. Make sure you are signed in. You'll see if you're signed in or not by looking in the top right hand corner. From here, click on the three lines in the top left hand corner. We want to save some locations on our map, so click on Saved. There are a few lists auto-created which you can add to if you want. I will show you how to make a new list of your own. Click on New List. Now give your list a name. I'm going to call this list Places I Have Lived. Now click on Search for a Place to Add. I've typed in the address of the home I lived in with my family after I was born. You can type something about the place if you want to. I'll continue adding places and typing in locations until I've added the places I have lived. You could do this with any location category you want to create. For instance, you could make a list that shows where your paternal grandparents lived or birthplaces of your direct ancestors, cemeteries where your ancestors are buried, or places you want to visit, or countries you've been to, Really, just anything you can come up with. The sky's the limit. You can delete or edit locations after you have added them here. After adding your locations, click the back arrow next to the edit list. There is a blue map pin showing the first location I entered. If I hover over the pin, this street view preview pops up. Click on the Layers button to turn on Satellite View. You can toggle this view on and off from here. Now the Satellite View is on. When you hover your mouse over the location, the map pin turns red. When you click on it, this panel opens. From here you can see what category your pin is saved under. Here I can see it is in Places I Have Lived. You can get directions from here or share the location with others. You can also add a label from this panel. You can zoom in on the location. Just click and hold the little man icon in the bottom right hand corner and drag him to the street in front of the location you want to view. Don't hesitate, just grab that little dude by the collar and swing him on over. That's right, just like that and drop him in the street. From here you can zoom and pan around and take a look at the street view like this. Maybe relive some of your favorite memories. Look, there's where I was attacked by a hummingbird when I was three years old. Good times. When you are done looking at the street view, click on the back arrow next to the address in the top left hand corner. Now we are back to the list. You can Click on any of the locations you added and check out the street view on any of them. When I zoom out on the map, I can see the places I have lived indicated with a red map pin now. Here is another list I made, places mom and dad lived in California. My brother was taking his grandchildren to Disneyland a few years ago and he wanted to drive them to the places he lived as a child. He knew I had the addresses written down and asked me for them. I created this Google map list and shared it with him. Then he was able to use that to show them all as they drove from place to place. You can share a list with other people by clicking on the share icon just to the right of the list name. From here you can copy the link and text it to someone or email the link or share on social media. If you click on the down arrow to the right of the list name, you can make your list public or private. My lists are all private, but if your list is meant to be shared with the world, you can make it public or decide to keep it private from here. Sometimes I don't create lists. I'll just drop a star on a location that is of interest to me. I want to drop a star pin on Ramsey, so I click on it. The map zooms in and opens a side panel about what is known in Google Maps about the location. Here I'll click on Save in the side panel. It will prompt me to choose how to label it. I can select Start Places or add it to the list. You can also create a new list from this pull down of options.
Now I've added this list as a starred location on my map. You can also add starred places to lists. Click on Saved Places on the left menu. Now click on Starred Places. Select a location you want to add to a list or create a new list. From here, click on Saved. You can select an existing list or create a new list from the pull-down menu. I'll create a new list and type in the name, then click Create. Now you can see it saved to my new list and it is still a starred place too. You can add a single location to multiple lists. Now you can give it a try. Create a list or two and star some locations on your Google Maps account.